Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you must have made a decision. Salvation is making a decision. Kukusudia. You be determined. You follow what is godly. Wewe you personally. Si Not another person. Hivi hapa tuko wengi. Even we have come here, we are so many. Mungu Wewe but God is looking at you personally. Nini? What do you believe in? Na nini? And what have you decided? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's not looking at us as a multitude. He's looking at me. What have I believed? And what am I determined? So that he may work with me, he may work with you. So while you are in the church, copy what is good. The devil is present. He's looking for one to Take him to perdition. That's why there is a place in the Bible that we read. It. Let us read from the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 1. He says, When you sit at the table together with a person who is a ruler, a person you are looking at, that you may copy from. Amen. Amen. He's a saved man, long term saved man. He's an old mother here. You are expecting to learn from him. His man of life, his conversation. But the devil may get a chance inside a person. And you may find that he's a brother or sister. But he has a conversation that you cannot copy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Copy what can bring salvation. That's why I like reading this verse. Wewe, it says you, when you sit on the table with a ruler, Angalia sana alavyo. Then observe carefully how he's eating. Kwake, si Some other foods are not good, therefore. Some other foods are for pleasures. He's a good brother. When you are walking with him, you know that I'm walking with a brother who has some words to bring to him. But there is a place he'll reach, he'll be alive. He'll reach at a place, he'll begin joking. He's reached a place, he'll begin hating. He can even insult a neighbor. And again he says, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So do not say that. So if this brother or this sister is this, then who, who, who am I? Who wants salvation? Then follow Jesus. Believe in Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You read for us that verse. Proverbs 23, verse 1. Utakapoketi kwa chakula pamoja na mtawala mwangalie sana yeye aliye mbele yako Tena ujitie kisu kooni kama ukiwa mlafi When thou sitest to eat with a ruler consider diligently what is before thee and put a knife to thy throat if thou be a man given to appetite Maliza hapo chini You read down Usivitamani vyakula vyake vya anasa be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. Amen. Amen. Anasema, He's saying, unapoketi chakulani, when you sit on the table, yake unapotembea, meaning when you are walking, popote pale, wherever you are walking, yes, tembea na ndugu, maybe you are walking with a certain brother, ni yako, or maybe you are a neighbor, ni mungofu, kanisani, maybe you are a saved man in the church, kwake. you are expecting to learn something from him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni mutu yuko mbele yako. He's a person before you. Ni rimba. He's rimba. Ni charo. Charo. Ni kahindi. O kahindi. Hata unapokana yeye. When you sit with him, unajua huyu. you know this one. Na ya kwake huyu. I have something to learn Lakini from him. Kwa na vyakula vya anasa. But then he says he may be having some deceitful meat. Muongo. He is a liar. Amen. Amen. Mutu wa mizaha. A person who is scornful. Anapofika kwa wanawake. When he reaches to women, hana mipaka. He has no boundary. Mana haja okolewa na hilo. Because he's not yet saved in that. Usiseme mimi ni nani. Then do not say who am I. Nijifanye mwaminifu. Pretend to be faithful. Nijifu hata mzee fulani. Even if elder so and so. Dambi yako ita hitwa ya makusuri. Then your sin will be called a deliberate sin. Because you know exactly what you are doing. Amen. Amen. You are coming to look for repentance tomorrow. Mana umefanya 
Because you have committed a sin deliberately. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know the truth very well. And you know this one is not doing right. But then you are saying, who am I? To pretend to be a saved man. And if a, such a person like this one is doing this. Copy what is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.